Hello, lawnmower racing fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today and for the next few episodes, we're going to talk about event logs and the forensic goodness that we can get out of them. The event logs live in the Windows directory, and they uh, capture, well, Windows events. Most of us are probably familiar with the security system and application event logs, but many people are unaware that there are actually hundreds of other event logs available to us. We just need to know how to go and look at them. Now, I like to use CAPE to go and pull out the forensic goodness uh, that's inside these files. And uh, so I set CAPE up and I, t I just go grab the event logs for the target and I use uh, Event Log Explorer uh, to run against the target. I fire that off and away I go to get my event logs. When it's done, I'm going to uh, look at it with probably Timeline Explorer. And uh, I go to the spreadsheet, the output that uh, CAPE has created, and I can pull that event log into Timeline Explorer. Now, even though it's a pretty good size file, Timeline Explorer doesn't take very long at all to go in and get what it needs. And then I can slice and dice this. I can sort it by date. I can go in and I can uh, sort it by event ID. Something quite simple like uh, 4624 successful logins and uh, we can sort them that way. Another tool that we can use uh, to run through this is something like uh, Event Log Explorer. And we can go into Event Log Explorer and we can uh, open up various event uh, logs that we've pulled out from the forensic image and uh, we can go against application, we can go and get security and system, you know, the ones that we're used to grabbing. And we can ingest all of these uh, into Event Log Explorer. And so you can see it creates a separate tab for application, security, event. We can even merge uh, different event logs. So for example, uh, with the security event logs, uh, you can see there's a number of versions of them. So I can grab one of those and I can open it up and it's going to create a merge with that uh, uh, historical uh, event log and the current one. And once again, we have uh, some great filtering capabilities uh, so that we can correlate various different events. Uh, as I said, in the coming days, we're going to uh, explore some of the better, more pertinent uh, event logs and quick wins we can get from them specifically. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.